everyone welcome I am Stephanie and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a thread up DIY designer box and for those of you who don't know designer boxes are items from thread up that are well DIY designer box are items boxes of items that have not sold or they could not list because there was something wrong with them sometimes they just have a stain sometimes they need fixing um, but anyway they are designer uh, most items you get are designer some more questionable whether they're designer but um, anyway uh, they're hard to come by these days a lot of people want them because they're fun they are actually really fun to open and they're uh, fun to get and um, as a reseller it's fun to resell all the designer items so anyway let's get to this unboxing I let's see got this one from oops go the other way here got this one from Mechanicsburg Pennsylvania and um, if you are someone who orders um, thread up boxes, you know they come in two sizes. This is the this is the smaller one, but it is pretty heavy. Uh, there's another one that's bigger, and you kind of hope for that one because you know you get purses and heavier things in the bigger box and shoes and things like that. But uh, but that does not mean this box is not full of good stuff. So let's find out. Let's find out. See what is in this thing. And, oh, and it's from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I don't know why, but I almost always get boxes that are from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I don't, I, uh, yeah, someday I'm going to ask. I'm not sure they're going to tell me the answer, though, to that. I don't know about that. So, okay. Got the box open and packing slip. All right, here is the first look. And it's just kind of folded over here. Ooh, okay. This is really pretty. I see something glittery. I see mostly clothes. I always hope for handbags. <laughs> I think a lot of resellers do. But uh, this is super nice. Please let it be. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> I, I can't even believe it's a super... I don't even think the camera, I got my new camera, as you know, but uh, I don't even think that this camera does justice to how, just how shimmery this is. Um, it's a size 14, and it looks like a, you know, a shift dress. It, it looks like there's not, um, you know, it's not real fitted. There's definitely no stretch to it. So um, it is gorgeous. Let me just see if, I, I can't see anything offhand that's wrong with it. Um, I'm not sure I'd consider Kate Spade designer. I mean, the purses don't, show, you know, they have their own, Kate Spade bags have their own, um, no, they don't, never mind. Usually you get Kate Spade bags in the name brand boxes. But the clothing, okay. I think the clothing does sell for pretty well. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. Um, I'm not sure that the feather design really isn't my design, but the rest of it is just gorgeous. So anyway, pretty happy with the Kate Spade purse. I, I, it's, it's nice. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna peek and I don't see any any purses in there, but that's okay uh, Because that first one was good. I think the rest are gonna be good. Okay. This is Escada Which is a German brand as you probably know they do a lot of wool items and um, I love Escada items I love the Escada items that I've, I've kept the ones that I've liked in these boxes um, And they're they're just gorgeous. Okay. This is a wool dress. It's a sleeveless dress. It's got that cute I can see why it's in this box, probably because some of these little um, de decorative things are, it needs to be shaved or something. Yeah, probably needs just to be, these need to be, they're a little pilly. So this is a dress, it's a knee length dress and it's a size 40. I think in German sizing, that's probably about an eight or 10. Um, anyway, it's wool. And I don't see any staining. This really does not look like it was worn much. So the zipper works. Um, the only thing I can see offhand with this dress is the fact that these little designy things are pilling a little bit. It's like, it's just this part though, not the whole dress, just this little designy part in the middle is, is kind of pilling. So yeah, I like Escada. I, you know what? It's a, uh, not even I don't think that's my size but it is really a pretty item so pretty happy with that okay oh we're on our Alice and Olivia streak I keep getting tons and tons of Alice and Olivia items and most of them don't have any size tags and including this one so 
Alice and Olivia, probably a size zero or two. I mean, there's no way that's more than a 24 inch waist. So yeah, um, it's a shimmery black dress with a semi sheer back, as you can see. Well, I guess it's not sheer. Yes, you can't really see through it. It just looks sheer because there's layers of it. But anyway, there's the back of it. It's a, it's probably a shorter, probably a knee length dress. And I really don't see anything wrong with it. It's really a pretty dress. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I don't know how, it doesn't seem like that brand sells very well, but eh, okay. Uh, moving on. Let's see. Next up is, okay, Diane von Furstenberg. Also another brand, but it doesn't sell very well. But uh, this is really a pretty dress. It feels like it's wool. Um... It's got pockets on both sides. It's navy blue and it's a size eight. Try and get up close there. Diane von Furstenberg, size eight. It's got some short sleeves. It's got some, it's, I love this detail in the middle. It's really pretty, look at that. The fabric's beautiful. Um, oh, it zips down, it zips down the front? Oh, that's odd, okay. Uh, I think this is just, yeah, this is just a designy detail so you can zip it down that far if you want to. I'm just gonna look, there's pockets on both sides too, which is kind of neat. Um, well, I was gonna look up the fabric content, but I don't, I probably won't have time to do that. Um, I will have it, by the time I make this live, I will have the fabric content on there. But, oh here, fabric, no. Uh, but anyway, size eight, Diane von Furstenberg, knee length dress, absolutely gorgeous. Love that style. Absolutely flattering style right there. So, All right, Ralph Lauren. Black label, it looks like. Slim fit sweater, size medium. Uh, it looks like it is, looks like it's wool. Let's see if it is. It's cashmere. Cashmere, 100% cashmere sweater. It's a super pretty blue. Is that, you remember the, uh, the Devil Wears Prada, remember? When she says cerulean? I think this is cerulean, but I bet nobody fished it out of some, uh, what, how did she put that? Bargain basement bin or something? <laughs> That's what she says on the movie. I don't think this came in one of those. Uh, Ralph Lauren Black label is a good label. I've never tried to sell any of the items from this label. I don't see anything wrong with this sweater either. It's really pretty, it's in good condition. So here, I'm gonna just show you the label because you probably wanna see it. It's, it's nice. So far, meh, not the best box I've ever gotten so far, but there's two things left. Oh gosh, I just saw the last thing. <laughs> okay, I I'm a little happier. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, another, yeah. Diane von Furstenberg dress. This, I don't know, they've got it all tied up here. Um, let's see. I think the last item is going to pay for the whole box, but it's going to depend on how damaged they are. So, um, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to have to unravel this whole thing. I think it's a Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress. I don't see anything offhand wrong with it, but that, that doesn't mean much because it's all kind of raveled up here. Um, it's a size zero. You can kind of get a look at what it, what it's like. I don't see any holes. I don't see any problems. Um, but I will, I will put a better shot of that on the screen when I make this video live. You ready for the last item? <laughs> oh gosh, and they have to be my size too. Oh, they're Chanel. I was just watching um, Christina from um, Stina Gio of hers this morning, and she was talking about how she got Chanel, and I thought I, I've never gotten Chanel. Nah. And then I opened this box, and oh my gosh, are you kidding? <gasps> they're T-straps. They're Mary Janes. And they are gorgeous. They are, they're a size 38 and a half. I'm not, I, I don't know, I don't know. I always say I don't wanna part with things, but this one's probably gonna be the hardest one ever. I don't know if I have anywhere to wear them, but oh, <laughs> look at these shoes. Okay, look, you can kinda of see the, the style. I mean, they're, they're not, yes, there's some wear on them. You can kind of see the bottom better here. There is some wear, there's definitely wear on these. Here, let's show you the tag, the, here, get this thing out of the way. 
show you here what, what the inside looks like. So much glare here. So you can see there are, you know, where foot marks were. But uh, let me tell you, these are so gorgeous. I can't believe, like the tip of the toe, that's, you know, you don't want that to look bad, and it doesn't. There's just a little bit of wear there. There's not a lot of wear to the bottoms either. There's no heel drag there. So I'm not sure if those got, yeah, I don't, there's just not a ton of wear to these. So only to the inside sole part. Oh my God. Those are so gorgeous. So anyway, so let's go over, um, and I did not say this at the beginning, but you get seven items. And so there's the first item. Oh my gosh. Makes the whole box. I'm going to have to sell them just to, to pay for the box, I think, but I might keep them. Let's just see about that. Diane Von Furstenberg wrap dress size zero. Ralph Lauren black label, cerulean blue, uh, cashmere sweater. Um, so my son is a golfer. He's actually a really good golfer. He's a scratch golfer, believe it or not. Um, and he will probably take that sweater from me. <laughs> well, let's just see. But anyway, uh, there is this gorgeous Diane von Furstenberg size eight blue dress. Alice and Olivia, size zero or two, sparkly black dress. We've got the Escada, size 40, wool brown sleeveless dress. And last but not least, this absolutely gorgeous sparkly pink dress by Kate Spade. So if you'd like to buy any of these items, you know, uh, my email will be on here. It's mystepstyle at gmail.com. Just send me an email. I do send invoices via PayPal. That does not mean you have to have PayPal. You can just use a credit card to pay it. So, um, and I will need your name and your mailing address. Uh, so if you send me those things, I can send you an invoice. All right. Thank you so much for watching my video and have a wonderful day.